Hey everyone, how's it going? Binksy here and welcome to episode 22 of my Skyrim modded playthrough. At the end of the last episode we went to the Salt Cairn and we retrieved one of the Elder Scrolls from Sorana's mother. Uh, I just quickly got back out of there because honestly it wasn't very interesting. And uh, yeah, so you didn't miss anything. Literally just ran out on Shadowmere, who shouldn't be in there, but sure. Uh, okay, now what quests do we have to do here? We need to bring the Elder Scroll back to Dexian. So let's go do that and uh, see what he has to say about it. Alright, we are back at Fort Dawnguard. Let's go find Dexian. Hello. Oh. Hello, sir. I trust your journey was successful. Uh, yeah, I've brought the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. Um, well, I, I, I kind of gather what's happened, but, uh, why? What's happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Uh, that covering on your eyes, are you... Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, can anything be done to help you? No, it will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Oh, I always thought he was permanently blind. I didn't realize he could have a chance of getting his uh, vision back, which is kind of cool. I, I skimmed through dialogue quite quickly when I very first played through this game, to be honest. Uh, I guess we're finished then. Uh, my controller decided to stop working. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to quickly plug that in, guys. So give me a brief second here. You might hear some weird noise rummaging around. Just uh, give me a moment. How's, how's everyone's days going, eh? You all good? Everyone having a good day? I'm having a great day. Um, got a new pop filter for my mic. Um, then realized that I need a, uh, a mic arm because the mic's taking up like 30% of my vision on this TV right now. So I can't see anything. So <laughs> yeah, great, great day, great day. Anyway, I guess that means we're finished, Exion. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriel's bow? What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Uh, don't worry about that. Just tell me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Uh, okay, explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Bro is eating and speaking at the same time. A true master of this craft, honestly. Uh, carefully gather the bark. How? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Uh, do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Uh, okay. I guess we're off then. Good luck. Yeah. I hope you find the answers you seek. And I hope you get your eyesight back, Dexian. Goodbye. All right, where are we where are we actually heading now? I, I think it's in like all the tundra and stuff, isn't it? Uh, not tundra. This stuff over here. Or around here. I could be wrong. I think I am wrong. No, I'm completely wrong. It's over here, apparently. Huh. Oh, it's near Falkreef. Okay, it's not too bad. So we'll head over there real quick. And uh, see what the crack is. Uh, I think I'm going to go buy myself a new sword though. Because I'm quite sad that my other sword got st stolen from me. I just need to find the right person. Alright, so here we are in Falkreef. It's absolutely looking incredible, my I add. Uh, I need to go this way actually. We need to head towards the... Um, the um, Moth place. I forgot the name of it already. Where the hell is my horse when I need it? There's a sign there, I can't run for that apparently. Like literally when I need Shadowmere, he's nowhere to be seen. But when I don't need him, right up my ass. Right up there. I 
Foul Cream is one of my favorite places in Skyrim, man. It looks so nice. I just, I don't, I don't know. I just like all the forests and trees, I guess. I think it's just my thing. Uh, okay, that's up there. Ugh. How the bloody hell do I get up there? Is it through here? I'm gonna assume it's up like through some random, obscure spot that I have no idea how to get to. So I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way and just run up a mountain. You know? Yeah, I think I've gone the wrong way. This is great. This is absolutely amazing content for recording. I'll get back to you guys once I've actually found the correct way to go. Alright, I think I finally found how to get to this place. I had the worst time trying to find it, honestly. I don't know if the textures got changed, the path just got... Oh, what are you? Hi. Um, hello. How are you? Who's? Slice, slice, slice. Come on, come on. Oh my god, they're gonna kill me. Oh. Get out of there. Serana, I could use your help. I'm calling you. This one's in the bag. Come on, yeah, please help me, Serana. I, I need help. <laughs> Ogres are very strong. Are you Let me know if you need anything. Oh, thank you, Serana. That was very caring of you. First enemies I come across now, you only got my ass handed to me. Um Let me loot this. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. And the bed zone? Who the hell owns this bed? Alright, anyway, what we actually came here to do, the Ancestor Glade, let's go in. This must be the place. Nah, you don't say, Sarani, you don't say. It's so dark in here, man. When I've gone the wrong way. This, ends up being a wasted trip. this uh, Friends. Trouble Lantern, it messes with the shadows of the game quite a bit, I've noticed. Which obviously is a bit of a downside because it ruins the effect of the intended lighting. But it's fine, I well, It's not fine, but it is fine at the same time. Ooh, very pretty. Alright, now we I think we need to run to the moss and then let them gather around. I'm limping again. Oh, I'm not anymore. Okay, the limp seems to be just temperamental. Uh what, what is this? Why oh, is rubbing up against my leg freaking out? Okay, we we need this. There we have it. Okay. Gather bark from a canticle tree. Uh okay. Uh what is a canticle tree exactly? And how do I get one? Um, oh, it's up there. Can I jump up here? Apparently not. Is this one? No, this isn't one. How do... Ah, I swear I got them in this game. Makes it very difficult to get to them. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that's a very pretty tree. They should put them all around the sky. I mean, look, that looks sick. Alright, I have the bark. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Yeah, I'm, I have a feeling that they will, so don't worry. There we go. I've got some moth friends now. Hey, guys. Did I get them? I don't know if I did or not. Right, we'll take some more. All right, that's two swarms. We need a five more. Okay, well, I can catch one as well. Sure, I'll take you. Welcome to the group. Uh, any more around here? There's this weird effect that's going on, on the screen right now. It's kind of trippy. I'm not seeing many moths. Am, am I going by? Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, four more. What if I just left and just kept them on me? Would they stay on me forever? Did I have that little moth group with me? Oh, I've managed to get another one without even trying there. Very good. Some down there. Oh, somehow managed to get that one. True pro right here. Oh, hello guys. Another one of you guys, huh? Come with me. Ah, here we go. All right. Whoa, this is trippy. 
Yes, Serana, I, I got. if we can read the scrolls. Yes, I, I grabbed that, Serana. All right. Um. Uh, read. Blood scroll. Okay, here we go. Uh, you think I'd be in the dragons in there, wouldn't you? Uh, boom. This is my second time reading the Elder Scroll. Actually, it's quite cool. Did I read the first one when you go back in time? Does that count? Hmm, I wonder if it does. Oh, really trippy. The moths seem to be liking it, anyway, at least. I wonder if they're like, just trying to attack me because I stole bark from the tree and they're like, tell me to fuck off. Like, hey, that's our bark, get away from it. And then they're not just trying to be nice or anything like that, they're just literally just trying to attack me. What, the moths, so they can't do anything. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, yes, I understand perfectly. Hello, Serana. Can you explain that to me? I didn't understand okay? a word of it. Almost thought I lost you there. Oh. You went as white as the snow. I'm good. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. Uh, what about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? They didn't do anything to me, though, did they? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good, so it's fine. Uh, they're at a place called Darkfall Cave. Then, it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? Uh, the scrolls gave me it, it gave me its exact location, to be honest. Uh, so, quite convenient. Like a sat-nav. Then, let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. All right. Nothing else then. Uh, let's get out of here, Serana. Uh, one second, guys. My TV decided to start listening to me and just bring up random Star Trek stuff. So yeah, that's awesome. Good job. I wanna just uh stop it from listening to me now. All right, let's get out of here and uh, head to where we need to head to. Is this the way out? I'm, I, I'm so. What is that? Nordic Vanguard Shield of Waning Frost. Sure. Cool. Alright, now I'm going to get out of here. When I figure it out. I'll get back to you guys in a bit. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Alright, guys. Uh, there's some fighting to be done. That's it. That's all you've got. Ah! That's all I got? Yeah, I've got quite a bit to give though, haven't I? You can see. Huh? Thought I heard something. Come on, come on. Take that, take this, take this. Just the crawl. Where's the actual vampire? That's the question. I like to think my attacking style is beat until it can no longer be beaten. Just, I just hit. I don't block, I don't do anything else, I just hit. Yeah, Serana, you tell him. I think Serana's getting quite protective over me, which is kind of wild. Could there be some romance in the air? Who knows? Tune in next time! Nah, no, I'm joking. Oh, God! I'm about to die. Oh, that was kind of hectic. But my uh, true and tried method of uh, hit it until it stops moving works every single time. Almost every single time, anyway, at least. All right, we're nearly get the location to get Ariel's Ariel's bow. Oh my God, leave me alone! Leave me alone! I don't want any of this. Hold oh, you, leave me alone, bro. Now you get yeeted. Uh, we're almost there anyway at the location of Ariel's Bow. I, I quite like this area as well, the Vale. I think it's called the Vale anyway, but it's quite pretty. And I like the new species of animals that are in here as well, which is pretty nice. Yeah, this cave looks really cool. I like it a lot. But then again, all the caves look like this. So, <laughs> yeah. But still, I, I like the cave textures is what I'm trying to say. Oh, 
Do you guys think I should uh, actually start trying to fight properly, or do you think I should just keep up with my uh, hit it until they don't move tactic? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, I really don't care about this, all this excavation stuff, to be honest. It's quite boring. Uh, Alright, Geronimo. We. This is quite fun, actually. Over the waterfall. Oh my god. Alright, that kind of shit me up a second there. Oh my god, it's going quite crazy. Uh, that kind of messed me up a little bit there. That's enough out of you. I actually did get quite shit up by them uh, spiders for the first bit when they were just sat there. What was that? Oh wow, more spiders. Oh, that's Serana Spider. I think it's Serana Spider. Yeah, it seems, doesn't seem hostile. Alright, let's keep making our way through. I imagine we're going to run into the farmer eventually. Oh, he's guarding someone. I wonder what he, uh, what's in his box. Ooh. Not too bad, not too bad. Some good little bit of loot there, and we'll progress. I do really like the fact that you can sprint and jump at the same time. It's very nice. I actually added it into my um, my own personal mod list as well, and I can't live without it now. <laughs> it's very good. Ooh, uh, septums. I'll take them. Ooh, potion of cure disease. I need that because I'm pretty sure. Yep, yeah, that effect there means I have the vampire crap again. Yep. Yeah. So, we're going to quickly pop the potion of cure disease. There we go. Good. And a potion of cure poison. Fire resistance. Yeah. I took a spider egg for some reason. Why not, you know? You know, we'll actually level up now as well. Because we haven't leveled up in a while. I don't know how many level ups I have. Probably quite a few, to be honest. So, uh, let's see how it goes. These people. Um, why would anyone wait, want no to level set up so. camp here? Why did I need to think that I needed to sleep? Very interesting. Can I just level up? I can. Okay, I don't know why I thought I needed to sleep, but sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's only two level ups anyway. Alright, no, I think I need to um, sleep to do my uh, perks, isn't it? The level up my like heavy armor and stuff. Yeah, that was it. Uh, speaking of heavy armor, what can I go for? What is all real P? I want this. I want this perk. Uh, sprinting in combat increases armor of applied of people. Sure, why not? Why the hell not? I don't know what it does, but we'll take it. And we want to level up our one-handed as well at some point. So we want to go for swords, daggers. There you go. And I think that's... I think, have I got any more? No, I've got any more perks. All right. Ooh, trap. Let's we'll jump over that. Serana, please don't set that trap off. Okay, I, I don't think followers can set off traps. I think that's one of the mods doing that. To be honest, I think that's like a very um, sus mod, really. They should be able to set them off because that's how it would be in, like, you know, if it was realistic. Uh, you know. And it can also be quite funny when they just, like, yeet themselves into a wall or something like that. Uh, okay, where the hell are we? The bloody hell is that? Oh, it's just a troll. Come on, get ahead of them. I keep hitting the wall. Oh god, he's, he's literally towering over me. The sign of dominant, dominance. Get away from me. Oh my god. Serana, what did you do to him? You turned him... Transparent? That's kind of creepy as hell, you know. Okay, well, we're going to ignore that. We're going to move on. Uh, okay. Yeah, the animations get a little bit messy every now and again. That's why I have my shield up. Oh my god, look. It's a, it's a, it's a farmer before they become a farmer. Hello, Come sir. Forward. You have nothing to fear here. Hello. Power. I am Knight Paladin Gellibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. 
Uh, this cave is a temple of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the sovereign of the Snow Elves. Snow Elves, you're a farmer? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the betrayed. Uh, I imagine you know why we're here. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance. Uh, okay, what type of assistance do you need? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Uh, kill your brother? Sure, why not? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. I'm gonna eat your brother off the balcony when I meet him. I'm gonna force Rodarum into non existence Yeah. I think I'll lose the uh, armor set that he has on, but I'm gonna eat him. I'm gonna eat him so far. Um, what exactly did the Betrayed do, exactly? They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. Uh, didn't you fight back? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. Uh, you don't even know if he's alive, so you could just be sending me down there for no reason whatsoever, really, couldn't you? He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Uh, have you tried getting into the inner sanctum? Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Uh, Way Shrine? Yes. Let me show you. Okay. Thrawn is still covering up, but it's not that cold in here, Thrawn. You should probably just take off the face mask at this point. Or do you? Whatever, whatever works. So, Ooh. snow elf magic, incredible. Oh, I wouldn't call it snow elf this magic. This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras. He'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the Way Shrine center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So, these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum, pouring the contents It's gonna lead them to have their chat. Apparently, I'm not the main character anymore. It's, it's all about Serana now. Audience with the arch all that just, yeah, just gonna just gonna, just gonna go over here just let them have that chat so yeah uh, as I was saying earlier you guys how's your day been going uh, yeah uh, while they're chatting I thought we'd have a chat let me know what's going on with you guys yeah yeah they're still talking is it rude of me for just listening oh, it looks like they're done okay cool my turn now Serrani yeah sorry thank you for allowing that to get to my brother is by following in the initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. Uh, how many more Way Shrines are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. These caves must be massive then. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, You'll need the initiate's ewer. Uh, so I need to fill this at each way shrine then. Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin as if you've been enlightened. Uh, okay, I'll be off then. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. 
Uh, no questions. Uh, I'm going to on a save though because I remember this being very buggy. Uh, sometimes they wouldn't open up. Sometimes the guy wouldn't appear and stuff like that. So let's uh, just go through. That wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. All kind right. Of soothing, actually. I feel a little... All right, Sarana, shut up. We don't have time for you. This is very pretty, though. I'm, 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 I'm liking the, the, um, whatever the hell they are. They look cool. Oh! Whoa! Not very impressive. What is that? What the hell are you? Dear Dedroth, what the... You are absolutely terrifying. You look like a death claw, but in Skyrim. Holy shit. Ah. I wonder why there's farmer in here, because technically wouldn't they just be normal uh, elves? Because they didn't get made blind by the uh, d dwarves? I don't know. Am I, just, am I overthinking things there on that one? Slash, slash, slash. Oh my god, you're on fire. Jesus. Just, yeah, group you all up there. That'd be great. Alright, I'm gonna back up. There we go. Yeah, I keep forgetting that the sword has impact on stuff, so if I hit it inside a tiny cave like that, I'm not going to be able to fight back very well. Oh. Okay, come on. There we go, we're making it through. That was like a little funnel through there. Oh, this is very pretty. Very pretty, I like it in here. Obviously, excluding the Charus and the uh, farmer. Hmm. Um, am I going blind? Yes, yes, I'm going blind. That was the answer to my question. Ah, there's a trap here. Oh, it's a dead Charles. Ah, he's dead, unfortunately. That was a quick end for him. Where the hell am I going? I feel like I'm coming back on myself right now. I am. Why? Uh, let's have a look inside here. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, but I know I just don't have the carry weight for it. Like, it's 14. That's way too much. There's going to be way more cool stuff in here that I want to get. Uh, I'll take the potion of feather, though. I don't know what it does. Oh, these pods look absolutely disgusting. Ron is a little bit OP, but we, 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 we take it, we take it. Oh my god. These things are absolutely disgusting. Come on, I got beat in the hitting contest. These are actually really strong. It's running away. You don't, don't run away from me, bro. Who are you? Oh my god. Oh my god, I know you're dead. Bro, it's actually running away. Like, full on running away. Come back here. Oh my god. There we go. Ah! It's trying to help me. They're trying to kill me. Through the waterfall, I jump like a badass. Woo! That was kind of epic though. Imagine if they saw me just jump through that waterfall. Uh, I need a potion. What's a potion of blood do? Uh. Oh, it's a healing potion for vampires. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's take that. I don't know what that'll do. Okay, increase my health a little bit. Nice. Alright, let's progress. Serana, come. I hit my head on the ceiling. It's fine. I love how they just shatter into those little tiny things. 
Ooh, yes. Oh, oh my god, I got so lucky that I didn't even realize that was a trap. I want I some of this... Oh god, what's that? I want some of this Gleam Blossom, it looks really nice. Uh... Oh, it's them things again. No, leave me alone, bro. Sorry, there's a thing down there you should kill, probably. Go kill that. Or is that yours? Oh, I think that's hers. Okay, I, I freaked out for no reason. Good. Uh, up this way? I don't even know where I'm going, to be honest. Oh! Sneak attack! Let's move on. I think that was a trap that I just set up, I don't know. I think I went past it quick enough anyway. Oh, death is very close to me right now. Can I just drop down a heal rail real real quick? Just I should really level up magic magicka at some point. <laughs> it's, it's just haven't been touched it. Oh, uh, why is my heart beating like I'm literally about to die? Hmm. Should be worrying me, but it's not. Uh, light shield, there we go. Oh god, look at all that enemies. Oh no. Come on then, one at a time. Yeah, I, I know you. I, I know you're over there, Serana. What? What? <laughs> what is going on? Oh yes. Later, buddy. Okay, we've nearly fought our way through here. I can't remember how far this thing goes on for, but I feel like we're near in the end. Ooh, potions. Another one of them things. Serana, can you help me? I don't think he knows I'm here. If, you, if you're out, if you can hear me, Serana, please help. I'm being held hostage by a fledging. Serana, please come. Right, I'm gonna make a break for it. YOLO! Ah! Serana, help me. Get it. Yeah, go Serana. And I bad. helped. No. I helped. Yes, I did. See, I'm very good at helping Serana. Oh my god, there's another one. That's a fledgling. Are they actually as strong? I don't think they are. No, they're quite weak. Ooh. What, what do you mean? You didn't do anything that time. That was all me this time. No, 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 don't try and claim credit for me, you helping it. No, no, that's some bullshit right there. What is this? This isn't a democracy, this is a dictatorship, Serana. I'm in charge, not you. Uh, hmm. Couldn't be a bit more obvious, but sure. I hope I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm, I'm not, but... Note. Let me read this note. Oh, it's part two. Yeah, just gonna skip. Oh. Chains and traps. Be careful here. Oh. Whatever's on the other side of this, the Falmer wanted to keep there. Aha! I guessed it. I guessed it right. There was only a 50-50 chance, but still. Ooh! I like how you're just waiting for me there. You look quite cool. And now we're in the Vale, we get to see all the cool looking animals. Yep, just gonna jump over that. Nice little shortcut. Yeah, this place looks cool as hell, man. Yeah, I like it. I like the deer as well, they look sick. I remember when I first came here, I killed all these guys gathering all the pelts because I thought they looked cool and I thought there might be like something you could do with them. I don't, I don't remember if there was, but uh, I didn't do anything with them anyway. Uh, where am I going? Where is the thing I need to go to? I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Is it up here? 
I'm lost already. Help me. Is it up here, maybe? I think I figured it out. Oh, lucky buddy. You know what? For all time's sake, I'll take some of the. Wait, did I say I weighed 13 or did it weigh less than that? I don't weigh two. I'll take one of each. We'll keep them. Um, Where am I going now? Is it up here? Yeah, it's up here. Alright. We're at, we've already reached the second one. I guess, does, the, does the other one count as one? I'm guessing so. Uh, before we progress anyway, I'm going to leave the episode here for now, guys. Uh, I think there's another way shrine up there. Here really? Really sorry now. I would never have guessed. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Uh... If you like the video, leave a like in the, on, on it. That'd be really nice and helpful. Thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, hello, Skeleton. How you doing, buddy? Uh, and if you are new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. I do a lot of Skyrim content, Fallout 4 content, and other Bethesda game content. Hopefully more content on other games as well in the future. As always, guys, this has been Binksy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.